Hello, BookTube. How about another installment of our Poor Neglected Poetry Tuesday? <laughs> this is from the new TLS, the, the most Steve-esque of all the book review organs. Uh, this has tons and tons of uh, scholarly and, and academic press titles, as well as general interest books. That's why it's my favorite of all the book review organs, and the one that I've never appeared in. Uh, and this one is really good. Uh, Rachel Polonsky does a dual review of uh, Vasily Grossman and the Soviet Century, a book that we've seen on this channel. She pairs that with Vasily Grossman's Stalingrad, which has its, uh, its only unabridged English translation from the New York Review of Books Press. Uh, and it's uh, her her dual review of those two things is really good, and there's another dual review in here that it was uh, to put it mildly very thought provoking, uh, and that is of uh, two technological novels. Uh, Rosalind Deneen reviews Ian McEwan's Machines Like Me, and Jeanette Winterson's Frankenstein. Uh, and I just mentioned Frankenstein on this channel just recently because I I have never been a Winterson fan, and yet I liked Frankenstein. Uh, and it's been nagging at me. I, I'm looking forward to reading it again when I get the finished copy. Uh, and it turns out that I'll have, it seems like I'll have a lot to find when I read that again, according to this reviewer. Uh, she writes, There is a merged ocean of thought within this book. Ideas slip between characters and time frames. The book stands against the prediction that such a merging of self and others would undo the, necess the necessity of literature. Frankenstein reincarnates as it evolves, each part deepening the part before it. Pretty good stuff. So, uh, and uh, from an intelligent reviewer whose work I have liked, so I will be uh, rereading the book <laughs> and, and and maybe even agreeing with Britta. <laughs> but in this same issue of the TLS, there was also a poem that I really liked, and I want to see if you really like it, uh, because I learn a lot in these Poetry Tuesdays. I learn a lot from you in the comments field. Uh, so once again, I will remember. I will try to remember to leave the text of the poem. Uh, down below so that you can read it at your leisure. This is by Jane Hirschfeld, uh, and it is called Vest. Uh, I put on again the vest of many pockets. It is easy to forget which holds the reading glasses, which the small pen, which the house keys, the compass and whistle, the passport, to forget the last, at last for weeks even the pocket holding the day of digging a place for my sister's ashes, the one holding the day where someone will soon enough put my own. To misplace the pocket of touching the walls at Auschwitz would seem impossible. It is not. To misplace for a decade the pocket of tears. I rummage and rummage, transfers from Munich, from Melbourne, for Oslo, a receipt for a Singapore copy, a device holding music, Bach, Garcia, Richter, Porter, Pert. A woman long dead now gave me, when I told her I could not sing, a kazoo, now in a pocket. Somewhere, a pocket holding a Steinway, Somewhere, a pocket holding a packet of salt. Borgesian vest, Oxford English Dictionary vest, with a magnifying glass tucked inside one snapped closed pocket. Wikipedia vest, Rosetta vest, Enigma vest of decoding. How is it one person can carry your weight for a whole of a, for a lifetime, one person slip into your open arms for a lifetime? Who, who was given the world and hunted for tissues for chapstick? I really like that. I liked how it expands from the normal things that you would find in a vest pocket to, of course, the, the real point of the poem, which is that this is sort of what we do with our stuff in life. We put them in, in pockets here and there and sometimes misplace them and, and spend our lives metaphorically padding pockets to find the thing we're looking for. At least that's how I read it, and I really liked it for that. I thought it was uh, tremendously good. It is one of the one of the poems, comparative rarity, in, in journals like the you know, the TLS, the London Review, the New York Review, or New Yorker, or whatever, places that aren't known as poetry journals. Every once in a while, I will find a poem in one of those places that I want to clip out and keep, and this is one of them. Uh, and I'm, I'm wondering if it had that effect on you as well. So the, I will leave the text of it down below, but I'm curious to know what you made of it uh, on our Poor Neglected Poetry Tuesday. <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up, uh, but I'll be back. Thank you, Book Two.